Welcome back to the 75 gallon mixed reef aquarium. This will be my update for the month of January 2020. And starting off the new year, new decade, with what I consider a big deal for me is actually being able to keep more uh, challenging or more advanced SPS corals alive and we have 10 right here the saga continues with the wild bubble coral um, I had to move it further to the front The torch coral is doing well down here. And that's actually die off from the stinging from the wild bubble coral more so than the green bubble coral, which is, I believe, an ORA coral. And the Duncans. <coughs> and then trumpet coral. The green meteor shower, which is starting to hit the overflow box. Uh, the GSP, for the most part, has stayed isolated on this particular rock structure. It's tried to jump a couple times with the purple map, just basically bulldozing other corals. Um, every now and then I have to trim it back, for, but for the most part, um, believe it or not, there is a gap in between this rock structure, and then right there, it actually jumped the rock structure. Um, and then there's the other variety. I think that's the Kryptonite Trumpet Crow. And there is a third variety that I do not have in the tank, and it is on my bucket list for 2020. Twenty nineteen was definitely a year of adding Zoas to the tank. So we have these that are taking root. We recently added those right there. I think these are the emerald ones. If I could hold my hand steady. Uh, of course they're the ones in the back. There's some green ones back there also, but you can't really see them. The frog spawn seems to like this spot. And in between the frog spawn and the meteor shower, I will be putting a um, magnetic homemade frag rock, I guess, if you will. Um, I have extra Fiji um, dead live rock laying around. And so I'll just glue a magnet to it, put a magnet in the overflow box, and then use that to mount some of these SPS curls on to. <clears throat> um, added a purple flower pot. This is actually the second one. And you can see there, um, let's see, is this, it's not the Kenya tree. Um, I think it's just called like a, it's a soft coral, but I believe it's like a pineapple coral. Um, it basically sometimes will bend over to basically lay on top of this purple flower pot or gone <clears throat> um, and then we have the clove polyps I've actually added a second variety of the clove polyps over here and it's sometimes being shaded by this big uh, leather coral which is a little ticked off right now I recently cleaned the glass and as soon as the glass scraper touched it, it closed up. But it'll be back open in a few. Uh, I forgot what this is. Uh, let's see. But it's still hanging in there. Um, I need to make sure it gets more light. Uh, I believe I got this from Tidal Gardens. 
a long time ago. And then we have this new edition. And we have the Oompa Loompa Zillas back there behind it. Um, and then I recently added, I believe those are Bob Marley Zillas, Sunny D's. And I forgot what these pink ones are called. The Oompa Loompa mixed in with just the regular orange Zillas. Duncan Coral's been here forever. And then plenty of the um, bright green um, trumpet coral. And then we have a purple tip frog spawn back there. And then I guess these are Utter Chaos Zoas. And then I'm not sure what the green Zoas are, but they're green and orange. <clears throat> and of course the green bird's nest right there. There's also another one over there. behind the 10 SPS crows. All right, we'll zoom back out here. And I definitely love my Recordia Floridas. So these have been here forever. Um, they love the light. And let's see, there's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And there's about twelve, I think, in that cluster. Uh, let's see. Down here, uh, we have two additional Recordia Florida. Uh, believe it or not, these Zoas are the nuisance ones that, if you look back at some of my older videos, took over the tank. So I isolate them on this rock, and eventually I'm going to replace this rock with um, another probably soft coral down here. Um, and then we recently added these two frags. Um, I believe one of them is a Stylophora and the other one's a Fabia. Of course, one of my biggest regrets is putting uh, these green mushrooms in the tank. Um, but they sting the crap out of certain corals, and the certain corals, I guess, are immune to whatever it is they're putting into the chemical warfare in the water nearby. For example, Duncan corals, they stung this to death, and they're preventing these zoas from growing. Um, but zoas are pretty resilient, so um, that is a branching cephastria. Which is definitely one of my favorite corals. And it's encrusting. Let's see if I can get a better zoom in on it. And definitely one of my favorite corals. Okay. Uh, then we have the green finger leather coral. And there's the Duncan in the back, the Kenyan tree. In the back. And then there's the yellow um, frog spawn, I believe. I don't think it's an octa spawn, but it may be. And then we have another green leather. Uh, and one of my gems of the tank is a ORA red flower pot and it's amazing you can kind of see how it's like a straight line in between the flower pot and this rock and that's because of these green mushrooms another wide-angle shot of the tank uh, no new updates to the livestock. Um, I pretty much only have, um, uh, let's see, right now there's two 
Um, final <clears throat> fighting cock snails in the tank. Um, I'll probably add a third. Um, I only put blue legged hermit crabs in this tank, and then there's like three different varieties of snails um, the Astrinia, um, trunk, just like maybe three or four trunket snails. Of course, they multiply, I believe, in the tank. And then um, there's another variety. Um, as far as all the livestock, the fish are pretty much the same. I haven't made any changes to the livestock. And part of me is kind of afraid to put new livestock in. I want, you know, there's, uh, what do we have? Three clownfish. Um, of course, we have the Melanaris wrasse. Uh, I would like to add another wrasse, maybe a yellow one. Um, or something that's really colorful. And then, uh, let's see, of course, the yellow tang. The royal grami. Purple dotty pack, which is right there. Um, uh, we have the damsel who basically stays in the center of the tank and the three dwarf angels. So I have a red flame, coral beauty, and a flame back. And for the most part, they don't nip at corals and the aggression is pretty minimum. Um, there's a nice kind of balance right now in the tank. Um, the refugium is doing well. I added the Kessel um, just in time for them to come out with a new version of the refugium Kessel. Um, so if you've actually tried that out, I would love to hear your experience um, in the comments down below. Um, I'm thinking about adding another one. And uh, no new equipment. Still four Kessel A360WEs. I'm thinking about adding a fifth one. And I am actually out of room. I need to upgrade my tank. Um, maybe this year, depending on how business is this year, or sometime in 2022 or 2021. Another side angle here. Here's another frag. I forgot what this one's called, but it's green. So it's back here by itself until I mount it. And you can kind of see what I had to do with the bubble coils. And so I have a rock that's gonna go right in the center to help. You can see a little bit. When these coils are fully expanded, they take up a lot of space. Um, so I have some extra Fiji rock as I mentioned and I created another piece to glue right onto that to help referee the space in between and then there was yeah there is another let's see if we can see it here there's another SPS back there that has fallen I need to glue it back um, it's a digi, purple digi. So a nice side shot of the reef. Overall, um, same equipment. Um, I 2020, I guess, goals for the reef or uh, another refugium light and um, another Kessel light and obviously the supporting hardware that goes with that. I'm pretty good on pumps, I just need to clean them, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm running um, the 6095s, which push water straight up on a pulsing mode, and then I run the 6208 wave box, which inside has the uh, 6055, pump and both the 6055 and the 6095 uh, Tunzi pumps are controllable. Um, I used to have an Apex, got rid of that. Um, I think there's a video on that. So um, I don't know. I mean, there's, we'll see. I 
maybe looking into getting another Apex. Um, we'll see what happens with that. And getting my calcium reactor off the shelf, plugged in, and get that running. Um, right now, I basically manually dose 20 grams of powder supplement. I'm um, up to almost every day, so the tank is definitely consuming alkalinity. And I had to sometimes add uh, Seachem Fosgar to help with uh, nitrate control um, because I feed pretty heavy on the tank. So that is my January 2020 update. Um, let's see, still using the Red Sea Blue Bucket 20 gallon water changes every 30 to 45 days. I run carbon uh, roughly a cup. You know, usually once a month, and that's about it. I just try and keep it real simple. Try not to overcomplicate it. Keep things in balance. And yeah, if you have any questions, concerns, um, if you see me doing something wrong, definitely let me know. Or if something is unclear, and I can address it in the comments. Thanks for watching, welcome new subscribers, and stay tuned for more updates.